The digital revolution has provided consumers with a greater range of payment options. The e-payment system market is estimated to account for nearly 75% of the global payments market. Digitization of payments was a huge jump towards the goal to achieve an easy, convenient, fast, and secure payment method. The payment industry is rapidly adopting potential applications of blockchain to solve cross-payment problems. Today we will investigate one of the blockchain projects, which aims to create a scalable decentralized payment network for global trade. I'm Joey from KK Technologies. Let's discover Kodi, currency of the internet, and is the first enterprise-grade fintech platform that empowers organizations to build their own payment solution and digitize any currency to save time and money. The Kodi project decided to expand on its original vision and develop its own blockchain protocol to be optimized for decentralized payments and designed for use by merchants, governments, payment decentralized applications, and stablecoin issuers. Kodi combined a trust mechanism, a multi-currency wallet, a crypto exchange, and a decentralized mediation system. Kodi stands for, Currency of the Internet. It's a decentralized network that allows instant peer-to-peer -peer transactions with no third-party involvement. Kodi uses a unique consensus algorithm called Trust Chain designed to be scalable, secure, and efficient. This innovative algorithm known as Trust Chain Algorithm builds a consensus among the buyer and seller. Trust Chain is a proof-of-trust consensus algorithm that assigns each user on the network a trust score and combines it with standard proof-of-stake to reach global network consensus. This proof-of-trust consensus algorithm aims to incentivize good network behavior, achieve lower fees, higher payouts, and better quality of service. Kodi's Trust Score Infrastructure TSI, is a key building block of the Internet of Trust, which is Kodi's vision for a new trust-based economy powered by blockchain technology. The TSI enables trust scores to be calculated and assigned to users, merchants, service providers, and other entities in the network. The network uses these trust scores work to determine which entities are more trustworthy and should be accorded more weight in the validation of transactions. This ensures that only entities with high trust scores can validate transactions and that low trust scores are relegated to less important roles such as approving transactions via staking or committing storage resources. The trust chain lies on a multi-DAG, directed acyclic graph data structure, which works in tandem to drive up scalability, processing over 100,000 transactions per second TPS. DAG is the most suitable infrastructure for payments due to its scalability and low transaction costs. The Kodi DAG is called, the cluster, a distributed ledger for recording transactions on the network. Instead of gathering transactions into blocks, transactions are placed in sequence, one after the other. For a new transaction to be acknowledged, the validating nodes must link it to two prior transactions. There are four types of nodes in the Kodi network, including full nodes, DSP nodes, trust score nodes, and history nodes. The most common node type is a full node. It is expected the number of full nodes to be in the hundreds, or potentially thousands at network maturity, while a reasonable number of DSP nodes will be in the dozens and a lesser amount for trust score nodes. To sum up, the online payments industry is growing, and the world needs a system that can handle this explosive growth easily. Kodi is the solution to this problem as it is highly scalable and becomes even better with an increasing number of users. Cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about the Kodi? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tap the subscribe button. 